Oh my, oh my. Today's gonna be filled with some gothic death, folks. It is not very often that you come across a mod chock full of absolutely amazing and very powerful weapons from a modder that still cares very much about balance. All B here brings us All B's item pack, everyone. And not only is the art on all of these items just stellar, they have a few tricks up their sleeves. We're talking weapon mode switching on the fly unique abilities, and oh yeah, stuff that isn't even a weapon, or an armor, or pretty much anything we've ever seen before. Oh yes, I think we're gonna have some fun here today. But before we get to any of that gothic fun, we need to talk about the Hunter's Toolkit, folks. It's gonna be going into several of the crafts we're gonna see here today. And we're gonna need some marble, a hammer, and electrical doodads to make each and every one that we need. So, you know, be aware of that. Oh, and I also believe that they help repair some of these new weapons, but we'll get to that after we start talking one of the new weapons, everyone. The Beast Cutter. Costing a hunter's toolbox, some bone shards, and a spear, this thing not only looks really flippin' cool, it offers 240 uses, 55 damage, and a little trick up its sleeve, everyone. If we give this thing a hunter's toolbox, we have suddenly changed its properties. It is now a ranged weapon with the same amount of uses, a little less damage, but it's gonna keep you a little safer come time, the kite folks. And you can switch back and forth with the toolbox whenever you want. Oh yes, I'm starting to see, and I hope you're starting to see, why this mod is worth our time. As trust me folks, this mod's gonna get crazier, way more powerful, and far cooler than you might imagine, while still maintaining balance. Cause look at the blood briars here. Our first magic craft. More marble, more bone shards, but four milky whites. That means you might have to kill the Eye of Terror twice to even make this thing. And what if I told you this really sick looking weapon was also a sick looking hat? <laughs> okay, let's see what this thing can do, yes? So, it's armor, absorbing 50% of incoming damage, but also reflecting 30 damage back at attackers. Not bad, not bad at all. Oh, this is interesting, folks. Okay, I just realized we have fuel, meaning we might be able to refuel this thing, and I'm guessing it might have to be refueled with Nightmare Fuel because Nightmare Creatures are neutral to us. Hmm, and on top of that, we have 50% waterproofness, which, to be honest, really ain't that bad. Nope. I lied, it's not Nightmare Fuel, it's actually something a little more interesting. Okay, I'm starting to like this mod, everyone. You need to give it a telltale heart. Oh my, oh my. But yes, this thing's supposed to be a weapon, so what does it do? Well, it's simple. Every hit is gonna be draining our hungers, but every kill is gonna give us health back, everyone. 12 health, I'm pretty sure, and two per, no, four hunger. Looks like four hunger per hit, but we get 12 health per kill. All right, you know, I can live with that, especially when the thing is dealing 68 damage per flipping hit. But speaking of hearts and all that, what about a craft that literally requires one of the most elusive hearts in the game? The Night Knights. And believe it or not, folks, this thing changes functions depending on the time of day. Come night, it's gonna give us 40% speed boost and offer us 42.5 damage a bonk. Also, it looks really cool. So that's a bonus. Come the morning, however, said cool look changes a bit. And well, the weapon now only offers 25% speed boost and 17 damage per bonk. Oh yes, but even that's not all. We are able to telepoof with this thing, be it day or night. However, there's gonna be a different cost depending on whether it's day or night. In the morning, if we do not have any nightmare fuel in our inventories, it's gonna cost 
25 sanity in order to telepoof. Have some nightmare fuel though, and well, it costs nothing because it consumes the nightmare fuel that is in your inventory. Okay, I like this. And also, doesn't actually drain the actual item. And speaking of, since we already have the Nightmare Fuel, yes, you can use Nightmare Fuel to refuel it. And once again, this mod is all about balance, so we actually need a lot of Nightmare Fuel to get this thing back up to snuff. It is very rare to have a mod that cares this much about balance with some really, really powerful items. And you know, at the end of the day, some of these items aren't even powerful. They're just kind of cool. Like the Aurora, kinda sorta salt box slash fridge here. That costs, yes, you see that properly, an iridescent gem, cookie cutter shells, and a telltale heart. For one thing, folks, it's gonna throw off a little light. For another, it has a little idle animation, which is kinda cool. For a third, you open it up, it has an even cooler animation with the iridescent gem there. For a fourth, Yes, it has a crap ton of slots, and for a fifth, it slows down the spoilage of anything in it by 80%, everyone. 80%! That is, uh, well, a lot more than an ice box, and even more than a salt box. And that's because this thing is also technically sorta gonna produce salt but in a very specific way. And apparently I did it already, even though I wasn't supposed to do it already. But, okay, put rot in this thing, and then whatever your configuration settings are on, be it day or night, the thing will go about its business of turning all of that rot into a crap ton of salt crystals, everyone. Oh yes, very cool indeed. And on a similar line there, folks, not everything is a weapon. Say hello to the absolutely amazing looking Scarlet Hunter. Which, by the way, yes, may or may not make the constant hate you because they think you're a really wicked looking spider. But yes, that also means that every spider type in the game is gonna be your best flipping friend. But some other things to note as you're walking around with this thing, everyone. It is technically an armor, so enjoy the 85% protection and 2,500 durability. It also is going to protect during summer, which is great. Gives us some waterproofness and even speed. Oh yes, it's good. And if anything in this mod was maybe a little overtuned, it's definitely this thing. Because... Yeah, I gotta say, killing a spider queen for something as amazing as, as this is not really that hard. All that said though, it does actually drain our hungers rather quickly when it's atop our head, but really, for that thing, that is not much of a downside whatsoever. But to truly wrap up our day, the boom hammer, everyone. Because of course, how can we not end the day with a boom? And if we're talking default, folks, it's just another weapon that you can run around with, bonking things on head, for 50 damage. But it might have a cheeky little container here that, uh, yeah. When loaded, might add a bit of a bigger boom, everyone. Like, much bigger boom. And a boom that has some range to it, so don't let things get too close. You do have to double click, though, and yes, it is going to destroy structures, rather efficiently, so be aware of that. Again, you have to click to load it, and then you have to click to actually boom things. And at the end of the day, whether you like something or not, it don't really matter, because guess what? You can toggle them on and off, change their damages, change their functions. It's all here, folks. You want to configure this to your liking? Go for it. And there you have it, everyone. An absolutely incredible modded item pack that is not utterly broken. All B and everyone else who worked on this mod, well done. And I am so sorry that it's taken me so long to cover this thing. I love the theme behind it. I love that you made all of these things so good, but also so difficult to get. And I love that you keep coming back to it to make sure others can enjoy it. And here's hoping that after today, many others will too. I will be sending them your way as best as I can. But thank you so much for your work once again. Thank you so much for watching, folks. And I'll see you in the next one. Please get some gothic death in today.
Bye-bye.